What's up, pandas? Peter from Panda here. Hey, I want to show you my True Temper Auto Boss Emergency Car Shovel. I actually bought a couple of these after buying uh, this first one because they are pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, this actually is, uh, this design and this type of shovel is available uh, from a number of places. But first of all, it's it's big, it's yellow. This is, uh, I think it actually comes in a few different sizes, but this one is about the size of... Oh, about two-thirds of a pizza box. You can see it's pretty large here. And you're saying, why do you need a folding shovel? Well, this is actually uh, useful for a couple of things. And uh, let me show you how it works first. Um, it has this, cur it, it's a little curved, so it doesn't sit flat, but it is, uh, the handle piece pivots out from the, the shovel, the scoop piece here. So uh, what's nice is that it has a pretty sturdy, uh, hinge here and it comes with this switch and you flip it out it doesn't go all doesn't flip all the way out and it and it stops right there but that loosens and releases the uh, the hinge and then you just push it back down it's pretty easy to use even in cold temperatures it doesn't seem to freeze up so it freeze up so uh, nice rigid thick plastic here so I think it's pretty durable uh, but even in like I said the cold weather it doesn't freeze up which is nice um, as you can see once it's opened the uh, the entire shovel kind of is uh, twice as long and so you have this kind of more flat uh, pretty ergonomic shape and you really use it by uh, putting one hand here and the other hand down here and the reason why this uh, this arrangement is good is when you're pushing into snow you have uh, you know um, flat leverage where you can push down with both hands if you've ever used a regular shovel or uh, you know with um, that's just a pull you can get uh, calloused or blistered pretty easily and it's also hard to kind of push through frozen or uh, you know really thick snow with just a, a a handle it's nice to have two flat areas and really if you came in if it really became a problem you could even put your foot down here or down here in this opening in and give get some extra leverage on it so again the why do you need a shovel like this well like I said I have them in the, the trunks of my cars because if you do drive in snow um, it's very easy to get stuck on uh, areas of snow that are um, all you know that uh, will trap you even on minor inclines or you run off the road just a little bit fall off the edge and, and just even a couple wheels off the edge can get uh, bound up pretty well so um, especially in the Midwest here but any anywhere else that you're gonna drive through snow through for an entire season I would suggest having this because you can move snow and get cars out. I've actually even had sports cars that get stuck in snow. And, you know, if you move enough snow, you can get the car out. But really all you need to do is dig out the snow that's blocking the wheels. And in some cases, uh, the car is kind of sitting up on a, a large chunk of snow. The wheels have sunk down. And so sometimes you just need to clear the snow from underneath the bumper or underneath the undercarriage a little bit to get enough clearance to get your car free. So I, I really think of these as great, um, uh, you know, light, but very sturdy shovels for emergencies. Now, the other thing I would throw it out there, and they even have it on the label here, you can see, for your car, for camping and outdoor, you know, camping and outdoor, isn't that the same bloody thing? But anyway, the cool thing about this is if you do camp in the winter, um, you know that you can make snow caves and having a shovel in those cases is almost is almost a necessity. Um, for snow and ice, I would prefer to have a metal shovel, but if you're backpacking, um, you'll see that you'll know that every ounce that you carry will definitely uh, um, weigh you down and you will pay a price for. This is actually pretty light. It's not super light. It's, you can certainly tell it's there, but compared to the folding metal shovels, it's much lighter. I'll show you one of those later. But because it's nice and, and uh, flat like this, you can actually put it right on the back of your um, your backpack. It'll probably hug the outside of that backpack very nicely and then you can use a carabiner or a clip or or something like that to tie that top down and have that shovel hang down. Um, the nice thing is when the shovel is deployed, you know, like I said, if you're building a snow cave, you've got a pretty nice edge here. So if, you, if you're going into the snow with the edge, you can do a nice, some cutting. You've got a nice flat uh, edge the whole way there so you can really shape, cut some nice blocks and uh, I think you'll You'll find that this is going to work pretty well, and it's 
its lightness is going to be a, a really big advantage over a lot of other shovels that you'll see guys carrying on the trail. So uh, I would definitely check this out and uh, pick one up. They're not that expensive. Um, you'll find them online for about 20 bucks and uh, just really handy to have around in an emergency. I can tell you I have one that's a little more beat up because I have actually used it uh, just to move snow, not necessarily in emergencies, but just to move a little snow because they're so convenient to, to have and uh, to, uh, to grab when you need them quickly. So you can even keep them in your house or your garage or under your sink. So anyway, True Temper uh, uh, folding plastic snow shovel, really useful. Check it out. Peter Brown panned out.